Hello everyone, I am Sho Ogino, the first author of this research. The title is Evaluating Bug Prediction Under Realistic Settings. First of all, what is bug prediction? It is a technique to predict buggy modules in a software system. In general, bug prediction proceeds as follows. First, we select the target project. We want to predict buggy modules in it. And uh, next, we fetch the repository and bug data of the target project from somewhere like GitHub and uh, Jira. Next, we analyze the development history of each module. And this figure illustrates the development history of each module. And uh, the dots mean commits to the module and uh, modules get buggy at the orange dots and fixed at the green dots. After analyzing development history, dataset like this table is constructed. From the constructed dataset, we can build a bug prediction model uh, using machine learning. And with the model, we can predict buggy modules in the target, target project, and uh, then we can conduct test review on them. Like this, bug prediction enables us to debug software efficiently. Okay, the motivation of our research is to research bug prediction under realistic settings. In this slide, I introduce unrealistic settings and realistic settings. First, granularity. Uh, in a paper, it is demonstrated that method is the best granularity from the viewpoint of debugging efficiency. So we adapt a method as realistic granularity. Second, dependent variable. In some papers, whether the module has been fixed is used as a dependent variable. Uh, they are interesting from the viewpoint of computer science. But they are not on practical bug prediction models because has been fixed cannot capture buggy modules correctly. So we adapt is buggy as realistic dependent variable. Third, dataset building. In some papers, datasets are built like this figure. It proceeds as follows. First, we calculate records for each module at release end, and next, we split them to training dataset and uh, test dataset. This technique provides unrealistic results because module A and B and C are in the same project. It is a target project, and uh, in a real use case, is buggy of module A and B cannot be calculated when predicting is buggy of module C at release N. On the other hand, there is a realistic technique to build datasets. It is called release by release. It proceeds as follows. First, uh, we calculate records for each module and for each release. Next, we split them time-wise. In detail, uh, all the records compose training dataset and newer records compose test dataset. Okay, in this slide, I introduce the summary of my present, the summary of research questions. In RQ1, we research whether has been fixed is really improper as dependent variable, quantitatively. In RQ2, we measure the performance of bug prediction under realistic settings. If the performance is bad, we can say bug prediction is still an open challenge. In RQ3, we compare two machine learning algorithms to find which provides the better performance models. In RQ4, we analyze the relationship between prediction point and uh, prediction performance. Okay, let me explain each research question in detail. 
RQ1 is has been fixed really improper as dependent variable. The experiment starts with analyzing development history. Look at this figure. This illustrates development history of each module. In this case, update method at release n minus one is true for is buggy because update method became buggy before release n minus one and uh, fixed after release n minus one. And uh, update method at release n is true for has been fixed because update method was fixed between release n minus one and uh, release n. Okay, finally, dataset like this table is constructed. From the constructed dataset, we calculate recall. Here is the definition. To put it simply, it means how correctly has been fixed to capture the buggy module. This graph shows the experimental result for eight projects. Recall is below 0 0.5 on every project. So we conclude that has been fixed cannot capture buggy modules correctly and uh, it is improper as a dependent variable. RQ2 How high is the performance of bug prediction and the realistic settings? The experiment starts with building dataset. Let me show how to calculate a data record. The sample is update method at release n minus 1. Uh, the value of dependent variable is 1 because update method was buggy at release n minus 1 and the value of number of commits is 2 because update method was committed twice between release n minus 1 and release n uh, release n minus 2 and release n minus 1. Okay, finally, dataset like this table is constructed. Next, we split the dataset to training dataset and test the dataset to build and evaluate models. Specifically, all the records are training dataset. In this case, blue region records are training dataset. And uh, newer records are test dataset. In this case, red region records are test dataset. Okay, next, we build the bug prediction model with training dataset using random forest and uh, we test the prediction performance of the models with test dataset okay these these graphs show average prediction performance for eight projects as you can see performance is so bad so we concluded that bug prediction and the realistic settings is still an open challenge rq3 which machine learning algorithm provides the best prediction performance? Dataset building process and model building process are the same as RQ2s. But in RQ3, we test random forest and deep neural network as learning algorithm uh, to identify hopeful learning algorithm. These graphs show experimental results. We conclude that uh, we should adapt random forest to build bug prediction models under realistic settings because random forest provides the best performance model from the viewpoint of F major. RQ4 How does prediction performance change just as the development history accumulates? Dataset building process and model building process are the same as research question 3s. And uh, this graph shows experimental result. The vertical axis means F major, in other words, the prediction performance. And the uh, horizontal axis means release number. As you can see, the prediction performance decays as the development history accumulates. This may be because the features of buggy methods change just as software development proceeds. Therefore, it fails to predict buggy methods with a model that reflects past buggy methods. This is just a hypothesis, so we will test it in the near future. Okay, this slide shows the summary of my presentation. That's all. Thank you.